Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we've got an exciting journey ahead. We're going to explore how to organize our code using Golang's fantastic web framework Jen in a structured and elegant MVC architecture. If you're a Golang developer, you already know how powerful and flexible the Jin framework is for building APIs and web applications. But as your projects grow, maintaining a clean and organized code base becomes a top priority. That's where the MVC structure comes into play. Jin does not mandate a code structure so that the code can be organized in many ways. In this tutorial, we'll break down our code into separate components, making it more manageable, scalable, and of course, easier to collaborate on with your team. Before we jump into the code, it is better to understand what is MVC. MVC, or Model View Controller, is a software architectural pattern commonly used in web and application development. It divides an application's components into three interconnected elements, each with a specific responsibility. The model encapsulates the data structures, database interactions, and data manipulation rules. The model is responsible for maintaining the integrity and consistency of the data. The view represents the user interface which users interact with. The controller receives user inputs from the view, processes them, and communicates with the model to update data or retrieve specific information. Controllers handle the application's logic and flow. Without further ado, let's jump right into it and learn how to organize our code using the GIN framework in an MVC structure. This is a simple application to maintain your notes. At first glance, you might have noticed directories related to MVC controllers, models, and templates. I have named my views directory and templates. You can choose to name it views. There are many other directories. We will cover them later. But first, let's look at the main.go file first. It all starts here. The roots are defined here. These roots are linked to their respective handler functions. These functions are implemented in the controllers package or directory. Now let's look at the controllers directory. There are two controllers defined here, notes and sessions. The notes controller defines all the handler functions for the APIs related to notes. Similarly, the sessions controller has the implementation of routes like login, logout, and sign up. You might have noticed a directory called helpers in the controllers directory. I use this directory to keep all the utility functions for the controllers. Let's look at the next element of MVC models. There are three models implemented, note, setup, and user. The note model defines the structure of the note that resembles the notes table. This file also contains various functions related to notes retrieval and manipulation. In the setup file, there is code to set up the ORM. In the user model, we define the user structure and its functions. Many developers keep all structures in one file, but I recommend keeping them separately to keep the code segregated. Before we go to views or templates, let's look at the static folder. Your application might have static files like CSS, JavaScript files, etc. All such files are kept in static directory. Now moving on to the third component of MVC, views. In the templates directory, we store the views. The templates are further organized in different directories, home, layouts, and notes. The home directory contains the views related to login, logout, and sign up, and the notes directory stores all notes related views. There is a directory called middlewares that is used to keep custom middlewares used in the project. Here we have a middleware that authenticates the request from a user. The helpers directory is a place where I keep utility functions that are used in the project. Though this is not the only way to organize the code in Jin project, this is my favorite way to organize probably because of my Ruby on Rails background. Thank you for watching and happy coding.